When you go to Sabbath, you find the topic that you want to teach. Then you click on it and it will give you a bunch of different activities. You don't have to assign all of them, but if you wanted to assign all, you could just click assign all from the very top. What I do is I pick and choose based on where the students are at. I give them a variety of these different um, learning activities. And then at the end, I will give them a quiz and some alternate assessments to go along with that. You don't need to do this, but for me, I find it easier to have all of my resources in one place. And for me, Savas is just a jumping off point. So I have a lot of other complimentary things that I provide along with it. Um, so I put everything in this Padlet. And this is an example here of a Padlet where the students made Freyer models of the different words. And um, this is an example of one of their Freyer models, but they were able to post all of their Freyer models onto this Padlet. And then I share that with the class so they can all see each other's um, models and then learn from each other as well. I post all of the videos and all the links to all the videos. And then I put all of my lessons and the answers to my lessons here um, in the Padlet. Uh, so this is an example lesson I also upload the answers to all the interactivity so it's easy for me to look up and also all of the labs and the teacher support for the labs. Here I have the different methods of engagement from advanced work to remediation. Um, and this just makes it easy for me to just click and assign later on. Here's an example of an alternative assessment um, this they would take in addition to the quiz. So if they didn't feel that the quiz provided a good demonstration of their mastery of the information, they would then choose one of these methods and demonstrate it that way. Every time I give a quiz or a test, I provide the students with a ketchup and mustard packet. They must do the quiz, but then they have time to catch up if they need, and then they can pick what activity to work on based on how they feel they did on their quiz. When they're done, they have free time to do what they need. Throughout the week, I provide the students with a variety of formative assessments. One of these is a cyber sandwich. This enables two or three students to collaborate on solving a problem. Each of the students takes notes separately trying to solve this problem. Then they get together and they compare notes then each of them goes and writes their own answer. I also post the links to several games that we play throughout the week. There are multiple studies that have shown that gamification increases student engagement and motivation. Here I have all the summative assessments with the answer keys and the explanations to the answers.